No. Oh, come on. I always said I didn't want to be the kind of girl who low-key falls for a guy and then loses herself when she's around him. Courtney. Nope, it's better if you don't talk, thank you. But I know I definitely am the kind of girl who doesn't wait around for things to happen. And I want to be the kind of girl who knows who I am and isn't defined by who you want me to be. So even if you think this seems super random, I just got to say how I feel. And if you don't feel the same way, that's fine. We can just go back to being normal coworkers and yeah. Do you want a drum roll? Actually, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Like, like, like you. <clears throat> okay, that's how I feel. How do you feel? Like a Gryffindor who maybe found his Ravenclaw. In case we never speak again, I like you, Ricky. I like your big brown eyes and your big round hair. <laughs> Lily, look. Okay, I I'm just saying. Sometimes people deserve a second chance. <laughs> How could I be so stupid? Okay, well, well I mean, you're not that stupid. <laughs> you, you know, I had actually convinced myself that I was wrong about you. Oh, kind of seems like you're. <laughs> hey, come on, Richie. It's I, Ricky. All's fair in love and war musicals, right? I mean, Zachy Roy taught us that. Yeah, well, Miss Jen taught us to trust the process, or at least our fellow humans. Okay, okay, so maybe this is our process, right? I steal things, and you get mad, and we laugh and laugh. <laughs> Plus jet skiing. Bye, Lily. What? Richie, come on. At least say Richard. Anyone? Um, pardon me, you're not Karen, are you? Who's asking? Sorry, I was waiting for someone named Karen. At least that's what she told me. <laughs> Ugh, isn't online dating the worst? Hi, can I get three ginger ales heavy on the ice and an order of nachos, please? Thank you. Sorry, you were saying? Actually, I was agreeing that online dating is the worst, but I promised my kid I'd put myself out there. Showing too much chest. I think you look great. I'm Mike. Hi. I'm not Karen. Mike, can we talk? That is my second favorite thing to do with you. <laughs> You're funny and gentle. And oh my goodness, are you handsome. <laughs> I like this talk already. <laughs> but there are times I wonder if we aren't so compatible as a team. Maybe we're both just looking for something else. Or something more. I don't think I'm ready for that. And I don't think I'm totally over my marriage falling apart. And you were such a ray of sunshine. It was practically perfect in every way. I was once in a serious relationship. <gasps> with a woman. So, what do you want to do for Halloween, babe? It's August. Remember last year when we both dressed up as me? You are so creative. You're the most creative guy on the wrestling team. I actually think I might try it for the musical this year. OK, <laughs> what? What would all your teammates say? I actually can't wait to find out. Hey, you like yelling at people, right? Constantly. Maybe you could, like, run the crew. I know you already did Brigadoon as an assistant, but. Well, quiet. I'm thinking. 
I'm done. Okay. Power couple, I like this. We are basically Troy and Gabriella. Or Ryan and Sharpay. Both work. Now, I just need a catchphrase to get everyone's attention. Wow. Did I not tell you she's amazing? She is amazing. You're amazing. Okay, so, crazy idea. What if we went in costume to the auditions tomorrow? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, whatever you wear, I'm doing your makeup. Okay, uh, no, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, obviously you're gonna get Troy, but I don't wanna jinx anything. Uh, that doesn't sound very Nini 2.0 to me. Babe, we're a package deal here, and all the talented senior girls graduated last year. This one is ours to lose. Literally, how did we not speak until the summer? EJ, my man. You're mad at me. Look, there was no fitting at lunch. Fine. Want to know where I was at lunch? I was at the computer lab, bribing some hacker to crack into my phone to recover a message you deleted when you stole it. Wait, wait why do you think that oh, I... Oh, please! Gina's not the wonder study I need to worry about, is she? Can we talk about this over Don't. There? Amy, I was spiraling. Okay? I told you I loved you and you couldn't even say it back. You said it to Ricky, and now I see the way he looks at you, and I know you guys have a lot more history yeah, than we do. Ricky would never steal my phone. No, I know. He just leaves sad face messages on it asking if you shared a moment over a song. Don't make this about Ricky! That is what this is about. I'm just trying to hold on to what we had over the summer. Yeah, I was too, but you know what? <laughs> Summer's over. EJ, hey, is everything cool? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, I'm excellent. Okay, well, uh, it's nice to see you. I didn't get into Duke. EJ, I'm really, I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm sure you got into a ton of other schools though, right? Uh, one state school. And I'm grateful for that, I am, but my grandparents met at Duke. My parents met at grad school there. We're a Duke family. I mean, I thought it was a lock. What am I gonna tell my dad? I get it. If it helps, sometimes dream schools are a little overrated. What does that mean? Nini, let's roll. Trust the outcome. Oh, I, I just need my phone, ignore me. I was not praying. I didn't ask. I was praying, actually. About? Does it feel like home? East High? How would I know? Jet, where was the last place you felt the happiest? <sighs> On stage. Doing the boys are back with idiot Ricky Bowen. Nope, sure sounds like home to me. <laughs> Wait, and Jet, I think if anyone could give me a run for my money when it comes to the intimidation thing, it's probably <laughs> you. But I've learned that you are actually a really big softy. And if you don't ask Courtney out before she, you know, graduates, <laughs> oh, you're losing. <laughs> Take it back. Yo, Nini, what's good? How do you feel about right now? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Um, can we talk? I met somebody else at camp. I didn't Wait, plan. Is this a joke? Still talking here. Oh, snap. I met someone at camp. Uh, I didn't plan for it to happen, but it happened. He, he was a music man, I was marrying the librarian. It's called a showmance. Wait, you went to librarian camp? That's a thing? Please, tell me you're joking. I'm not. Hun, <laughs> Ricky, you know what you did. Or what you didn't do. I love you. I've loved you since the first time you picked up your ukulele and you wrote a song about clouds. A silly little song about clouds. I love you. 
Yeah? Sometimes it's easier to just kiss. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't like who I'm becoming. Chasing you down all the time. I don't like running away. It seems like we've been out of sync ever since I got back home. Maybe we both just uh, need some space to figure things out. Last time we took a break, we ended up broken up. Are we breaking up? I don't want to hold you back. I don't want to hold you back either. Can I just hold you now? I was just gonna text you. Gotta catch up with Big Red before he heads to slices. Oh, well, I just uh, wanted to give you this. Finally signed my name. Here's mine. <laughs> Should we just read them now? Why not? Okay. <clears throat> um, dear Ricky. Dear Nini. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did we seriously write the same thing? <laughs> um, I know it's been quite a journey. <laughs> you said long semester. Okay. But I'm so glad to be where we are but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Here's to second acts. And new beginnings. Love, Nini. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I guess we are literally on the same page. Just for a moment. I have a lot of questions. I'm happy for you. Honestly, pretty relieved. <laughs> Sounds like you are too. Seems like. We've been growing apart for a while now. Or maybe just growing towards this. Did we just have the most beautiful breakup in history? I think we did. like the end of an era. A golden era. Friends, though, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Forever and ever. So are you really going to leave these magical kids for a college somewhere? To be honest, the only thing keeping me from running the California is... Earthquakes. You. Us. Or the possibility of us. Unless uh, you have a better offer. I'm just saying, Benny the boy band member never got to play New Zealand. <gasps> what? Oh, no. No, I couldn't. Couldn't we? We? Oh, finally. Please, God, yes, just take my dad out of the equation. <laughs> okay, so we've got a stretch limo, and I'm wearing a $15,000 gown. Well, are you busy tonight? Tonight? Yeah, you know, homecoming. 
You mean like you and I dancing together in front of like all the non-theater kids? As far as I know, that's how homecoming works. <laughs> this would be my first time going. Text me a pic of what you're wearing. I've been working up the courage to tell you something. You came to a party in an elaborate costume to finally have a heart to heart with me? Okay, and are you ready? So would you like to tell me now? This is probably going to be hard to hear. A lot harder than you not talking to me. Okay, then this is probably going to be hard to say. Sebastian, would you just- I cheated on you while you were at camp. Oh my God, this is insane. Everyone just leave me alone. Okay, but you are actually adorable when you yell. There is so much I didn't know about you. Sometimes people put me in a box. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, was that out loud? It was. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I also know what it's like to be put in a box. Oh, thank God. Take the spotlight off us for a second. Us? I, I love you too. What's that? Miss Jen? You need me on stage? I'm not back together with Big Red. But... And I have feelings for you. I have every feeling for you. And my... My biggest fear is that if we tried this, if we actually went for it, that... Well, I might lose the most incredible friendship I have. Ash Hart's gadget? It was carved into a tree behind the bunks at Shallow Lake. Wait. So you've had these feelings since back at camp? No, EJ did this. He predicted we'd end up together. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I don't deserve to be as happy as you make me. You are the scariest, most beautiful person I've ever met. That is exactly how I feel about you. Should we just like, I don't know, like stay friends? Yeah, yeah. No, it's um, <clears throat> Probably safer that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My kiss with Seb has gone viral on TikTok and I gotta download with somebody. Oh my God. Okay, I'm leaving. Wait, I'm so happy for you too. This is so endgame. What? Can I? Can you what? Can I kiss you? Will you be my first kiss? Sorry. EJ, you missed the last dance. Crap, hold on, I'll put on a song and we can just boogie around. EJ, stop. We had two completely different nights. And I'm starting to think we're having two completely different summers. 
This is not about Ricky. Well, I know there's history there. I was trying to make a future with you. And I know that I don't have a solid plan for the fall, but if everything works out, then I think maybe... <laughs> I think the problem is... I think the problem is that maybe isn't good enough for me right now. All my life has been about change. Maybe is all I've ever known. And maybe I came to the dance solo and maybe I, I don't know EJ, maybe I should leave solo too. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that, we're great together. Yeah, for like five minutes at the beginning of the summer. But we haven't really been together this summer, not really. And if that's a preview to some future where we can't be together at all, I I think I need to skip ahead. What, what do you mean by skip ahead? I mean, I can't be a maybe anymore, EJ. Not now and not later. Look. You're wonderful. But it's over. Can it really be over if it never really got a chance to start? Alton John and EJ, oh, you have taught me so much about myself. I'm so thankful for all of our time together. And yes, I do not get things right the first time, but thank goodness we can laugh about that now. Big Red, I'm not really French. My name is Andy, and I'm a method actor. And I am so terrified of what it means to be alive and vulnerable and for people to never know the real me. But the pano chocolat was for you. It was always for you. I'm not actually with Ashland. Interesting. I follow you. <laughs> My thing is that I just keep pushing, and I never quit. I know you don't. So, um, I guess I just want to say that, um, I'm sorry, this is so stupid, I don't know why I'm crying. Say it. I wouldn't quit on us. I wasn't moving away. So now, I'm gonna give you a really tight hug, and then I'm gonna walk away with my head held high. Okay? Okay. He's wrong. Sorry? Who? EJ. He said we all saw this coming, but I didn't. Not that night in your car after homecoming, or when I made you that hat at Thanksgiving and your floppy little ears looked so dumb, but <laughs> it was honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen. God, Ricky Bowen, you have been a surprise since the day we met. I don't have maybe feelings about you. You aren't a maybe. You're a yes. And I like to know where people stand with me, and so now you know where you stand with me. And so I'm going to walk out of here with my head held high, and I'm never gonna look back again. Unless you stop me. <laughs> Wait. Don't get me started. Because <laughs> I love you feels a lot like high school. And forever after that. 
This is an incredible way to announce a movie.